Interesting interview with George Groves on TalkSport the other day. He also did an interview with Sky Sports where he basically said the same thing, which was that in his opinion, not only will Tyson Fury not fight Alexander Usyk on December 23rd, but he doesn't think that Tyson Fury is going to fight Alexander Usyk next at all. He thinks it's more likely that Fury will either face Francis Ngannou in a rematch or he'll actually retire. Now, if that were to happen, it would be an absolute travesty as far as I'm concerned, because I have long wanted to see this undisputed fight. It's been snatched away from us at the last hurdle on several occasions in the past. It would be terribly cruel for it to happen again now that the fight is apparently signed but it's a strange old world, so I guess anything is possible. Now, George Groves gives his reasons for why he thinks that Tyson Fury may not fight Usyk next and instead could fight Francis Ngannou or retire. To me, that's a nightmare scenario, but an argument could be made. And I'm not saying I agree with this argument, so don't misconstrue what I'm about to say here. But an argument could be made that a Fury and Ngannou rematch is actually more lucrative than an Alexander Usyk fight. Is that really the case? I don't know, but I'm sure there'll be people making that argument. The reason I don't think Tyson Fury will do that, I could be wrong, but I don't think he'll do it, is because although there is a big financial reward for fighting Francis Ngannou again, the risk of losing would completely tarnish his legacy. Now, going into the first Ngannou fight, he surely thought that it was going to be easy. And so there really wasn't much of a risk. It was a cherry pick gone wrong. But after struggling first time around, unless he deliberately held back, you know, some people believe that, but assuming that isn't the case, he will see Ngannou as being far more risky now than he did before the first fight. The reward is what? You beat a guy who's had one professional boxing match and you get a big payday. But if you fight Alexander Usyk, you get a big payday. And if you win, you've beaten a guy who's already a Hall of Famer, the greatest cruiserweight of all time, two-weight world champion, unified champion at heavyweight currently, unbeaten still. So from my vantage point, there appears to be more upside for taking the Alexander Usyk fight than there would be for taking a Francis Ngannou rematch. If Tyson Fury fights Usyk and loses, that would be the time to take the Ngannou rematch. Presuming he doesn't go ahead and take a Usyk rematch, he'd probably do that to be fair. But let's say you, he loses to Usyk twice then would be the time to take the Ngannou rematch if Ngannou still wanted it. So I can't dismiss what George Groves is saying entirely. I'm not Nostradamus. I hope he's wrong. I think he's wrong, but I guess we'll find out in due course whether his opinion comes to fruition that Tyson Fury will either fight Ngannou in a rematch next or retire. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below.